So if you've been watching the past couple of videos of mine regarding this whole memory leak or space leak or RAM leak or whatever you call it, and then jumping into rebar, you know uh, I've been putting a lot of time into collecting data. And my final hurrah for this would be to, as some of the comments have suggested, use rebar with NVIDIA Profile Inspector, forcing it on for the game, which I did. If you want to download that program for yourself to force rebar on after watching this video, it's right here at this website, which will be linked down below. And all you have to do is download the zip, unzip it, obviously, <laughs> and then launch the EXE that comes inside of it. Once you launch that EXE, it's this right here. You want to hit yes. Now that you're inside the app, first thing you want to do is go up here and simply type in escape and you'll probably find escape from Tarkov right here. Just click that. And now you're officially in the NVIDIA Profile Inspector's settings to apply specifically for escape from Tarkov. Now you can scroll down to section five, which I just actually scroll past. It's the common section. And you'll see R bar, which is rebar. And you'll want to set them according to the settings that I have right here, which is enabled the option with the one at the end, there's gonna be a couple, but it's the one with the one at the end. It's 01, not 81. And then for the size limit, you're gonna to wanna to set it to four. Now I have seen some users comment for games like Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen that possibly having this up higher towards these numbers will improve your performance slightly if you have the memory bandwidth to boot but I figured I'd just recommend the safest setting for all of you guys that would work. And if you'd like to test that further, obviously you can using these settings. Just make sure you research it properly and choose the right one for your system. But the one that I selected will work for everybody. And just to be clear, the performance gains from setting this to a higher one are pretty slight as far as I'm aware. But once you've got that all set, you just wanna hit apply changes and then it will apply those. Obviously I'm not going to apply them since I'm in game, they are already applied like this. Um, but I would apply these and then restart your computer just in case and then launch escape from Tarkov so that you're starting on a fresh plate. And keep in mind, once you have it on, you will need to reapply it if you ever decide to update your drivers. So just keep that in mind. If you're doing it just for Tarkov, it won't be a hassle, but if you're doing it for a ton of games, just, just remember that. But now that that's all out of the way, as you can see, I am in game yet again and a nice little backdrop here for the disappointing craft that I'm about to show you. I don't know if it's disappointing or confusing or I honestly don't know, but these are just the numbers that I collected and I'm just going to delve right into it. So lugging this bad boy over here, we got some digestion. Now, one thing I do want to note in the last video is I did accidentally label run four and run five as with rebar. Uh, it's without rebar. There's no rebar with run four and run five. I know when I was talking about it, I was still getting it correct, saying that there was no rebar for these runs, but I know on the graph it didn't say that. So that's now fixed. And you guys should also see run six and run seven are the rebar plus NPI runs. Those of you with a special eye might notice that the graphs end a little bit early for those two runs. And the reason for this is because they were following a very clear trend and I figured at that point that there wasn't anything else going on and that I should cut it off. I did test the runs at the start of each raid just to make sure, just to boot it up and make sure the RAM allocation was roughly the same. And it almost certainly was within like a hundred megabytes difference. So there wasn't really any change with any of these here. But the biggest thing I wanna note with the RAM consumption in general is having rebar on plus NPI did give me a slight decrease on average, even though this is just one run. I ran a couple more test runs and it was sitting right around this number here, right around 14 gigabytes, whereas this was sitting up here and towards 15 gigabytes with it off. This is the yellow bar here. So I was noticing a little bit of extra decrease in RAM usage with NPI on, but keep in mind, this could be an issue with me not being able to correctly recreate the exact scenario online that I had in this rebar off test. Regardless, it is still considerably less than having just rebar on, which leads me to the conclusion of this video. With rebar off or rebar on forced through NVIDIA Profile Inspector, you get considerably less RAM usage and RAM overflow from VRAM spillover than you have with it just being on and not being forced on through NPI. I have no clue why this is the case. I'm assuming because it's now properly 
putting rebar into Escape from Tarkov that it's no longer freaking out and overusing VRAM or anything like that. I it's honestly baffling these numbers but these are the numbers that i got and i figured i would share that with you guys now one comment that i did get is that you guys would like to see some performance numbers with that too and the numbers that i collected at least offline were almost exactly the same if you guys wanted to see the numbers for the benchmarks that i did for offline raids with rebar off and rebar with the nvidia profile inspector i did those and they're roughly the same. I didn't even bother putting these on a graph because I figured it, it's the TLDR is the same and looking at the numbers really isn't gonna get you any sort of difference in that. But yeah, those are those numbers. This is the graph for all the memory usage that I collected, all the data. And this is my opinion. Rebar with NVIDIA Profile Inspector didn't give me any more noticeable performance when I was testing anecdotally online. Keep in mind, with online tests, it is really, really hard to recreate exact scenarios that you're able to duplicate without tons of external factors coming into play. So I had to just eyeball it and there wasn't any noticeable difference between having a rebar completely off and rebar on plus NPI. There was, however, a difference between, say, rebar off versus rebar just on and rebar just on versus rebar forced on through NVIDIA Profile Inspector, as it was considerably more juddery and stuttery when I had it regularly stock on versus either of the other two settings where it was off or NPI. With that being said, if you're on an NVIDIA card, then my recommendation would be to test with the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I 100% recommend it just because having rebar on for other games besides Tarkov will improve your performance depending on if they're supported in it or not. And if they aren't, you can always use the NPI method that I've shown you to then force it on to possibly get even more frame rates out. Frame rates out of it? What am I? Even more FPS out of it. If you're wondering, yes, I did spend another four hours uh, after I got home from classes to sit and benchmark all of the data just to come to the conclusion that it is roughly the same as having it off. So yeah, the final short and sweet conclusion is off is fine, but if you have an NVIDIA card, turn it on plus NPI and see if you get any more smoothness out of it. It should feel roughly the same as having it off, but it's worthy to test. If you're on an AMD card, I'd still recommend trying and testing it off but that's where we're at because I don't have an, uh, an AMD card. So that I know that's kind of a want wah conclusion, but that's the best that I could gather from all the data. And it's I don't want to sensationalize any of it. So there you go. That's the final suggestion. But keep in mind, rebar on, but not fully enabled through NPI is still the worst way to go. You should e either disable it in your BIOS or enable it through NVIDIA Profile Inspector to get the best performance possible leaving it on just in BIOS and not enabling it through NPI is a no-go. With that, there'll be more performance videos coming up soon that are not related to this topic anymore. I've spent way too much time with these benchmarks and uh, we, we got other stuff to be looking at. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the help in figuring all this out. Make sure to test it for yourself. Leave a comment down below if it helps you. Like and subscribe, the whole ordeal. Memberships get you a good top hat and... Uh, yeah, with that, I will see you guys in the next video, and I'll be streaming tonight, uh, probably closer to 6.30, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, join the Discord, all the plugs, and this is Clem, clocking out. Later. <laughs>